So I saw a few days ago, OpenAI just released their new Sora AI video model, and overall it looks pretty good. I'm gonna show you as a designer, as a videographer, how you can actually use it, even if you're doing like client projects or creating content and you need some videos. And you can even turn still images into videos as well. I think it's a powerful tool, especially if you're a creative and you know, you're not good at creating videos or editing or getting stock footage and you wanna play around and create some abstract stuff. I think it's going to work really good. So let's jump into it. Here is the back end and you've got all your options on the, on the left sidebar. So you've got your library, you've got videos, favorites and uploads and you can create new folders. So maybe you want to call it design. Um, you know, maybe you want to call this one abstract. So we can easily create folders, uh, which is really cool. And now what we can actually do is we can just create any type of video. So let's say, um, a uh, UFO flying through space, uh, a galaxy, a nebula in the background. And let's go down to the options on the bottom. So we've got some different options we can play with. You can do the aspect ratios. We can do one on one, nine to 16. Um, so we can change that. We've also got uh, 1080p, 720. I'm not gonna do 720A because it'll just take too long. So you could do 4080 because it's just fast and then you can upscale it later. And then you've got duration, so we'll keep it five seconds. And then you've also got variation. So um, I think on the pro plan, it'll give you four, but you need this plus subscription to use this. It just gives you two options here. Um, you can also upload a file as well. Just make sure you tick on all the boxes because they don't wanna get into any trouble, you know, because of copyright or people uploading things with logos on it or big brands. So they're trying to avoid that. I'm, I'm gonna upload something like that, but for now, I'm just gonna stick with this. And you've also got the storyboard feature, um, but I'm gonna click generate and let's see what it's going to do. Now you can upload an image. So I'm gonna go find a mid journey image that I recently generated and we're gonna go play around with that. Uh, so for example, I'm going to click upload and I'm gonna go locate the image here. And so for this one, it can recognize your image and it can generate a video. So I can type um, a description or you could just leave it and just click enter. So it's sort of like generative feel in Photoshop. If you just leave it, it would like just use its imagination and, and generate. Um, but for now, on the top right, you get the card and it's generated that first video. So here we go. That's pretty cool. You're for flying through a galaxy with a nebula in the background. This one's going in circles and this one's like more slow moving. So you can actually click on it and we can actually adjust it. So on the bottom, you've got tools like edit prompt. We can click view story. We can recut it. We can remix. We can uh, blend it and we can even loop it. So let's say we edit the prompt. Now we can say... So we can adjust this, change the prompt. We can click view story as well. The storyboard feature allows you to create, uh, I'm not gonna go too in depth with this because you probably won't use this if you're a designer, but you can create like sort of story beats. And so like maybe you have one scene is just a static and then the next part you want the thing, an object to be moving and it will, it will just generate the in-between frames of the movement, which is cool. We can also remix um, and I can say, So add that to the queue. So now let's go to this one. Cool. Monolithic structures on a deserted planet, dark atmosphere, planets in the background. Really cool. Looks good. And so we can remix this and we can say big robot structures and type that. I'm going to go back to the static image that we uploaded. Beautiful. Now look at this. So it took a texture that I generated in mid journey and it's now adding some movement. So the right one, you can see it's, it's pretty high quality. It is a little bit grainy, but we can look at it and add some nice movement. And the cool thing is you could do like a logo, place a logo on top, which I think would be good. Um, if you want to see all of the generations, you can go to the library, go to all videos and we can scroll through here. So it's pretty easy to use, easy to navigate. Really like this. You can recut it. So if you want to edit in here, you can edit it and then you can, you know, adjust it, which I think is really cool. It's all going to use credits. On the top right, you've got like, share. You can also download it as well, which is super cool. And then I can bring it into like Premiere Pro and edit it, add a logo, add a, whatever I want. We can also uh, add a seamless loop. So it will just constantly do a looping effect, which I think is really cool. Let's go back to this UFO one. And so I added some satellites. You can, so you can see it adds to the frame. So we can add things, we can cut, we can loop, we can blend as well. So if you want to transition to a, another video, you can upload a video or choose from the library. 
I'm not gonna really use that. I'll show you some more examples of what it can do with the abstract stuff. Let's get this and let's just say driving along dirt road. All right, and I'm gonna click create. Now, what if we wanted to test it out with a logo? Let me go put uh, my logo in here. I'm gonna say 3D monochrome metal and I'm gonna press enter on that. All right, cool. <laughs> let's see what it did to my <laughs> logo. That's kind of cool. So it did a bit of a 3D rotation. It looks a bit stiff, a bit rig rigid. Um, it's got a reflection. It looks cool when it does the, the, like the monochrome thing at the back. That's kind of cool. So what I'll do is probably just cut out that first section and leave that. Like, that's pretty cool. So we could go recut and I'd probably just cut this out and maybe like like this and then create and then it will redo it. That's kind of cool. Now I'm going to try some other images that I just got from mid journey. Let's go with this one. For this one, I won't type anything. I'll just leave it as is. Uh, maybe this one will just do like, oh, we'll leave it at 16 by nine. All right, let's see what it did to the dinosaur. <laughs> what is it doing? It's doing a zoom in and this one's eyeballs are going, going whack. <laughs> kind of cool. I think it's best if we edit the prompt. Let's just say dinosaur running, chasing a butterfly. Let's go with that and see if that fixes it. Uh, for this one, we'll go. So it's pretty slow. So if you go to the pro plan, you can see you get faster generation, priority videos, 1080p download without watermark so yeah it does cost a lot more but if you're an everyday user then it's gonna be good all right let's see this one okay why is it doing all these weird scenes so it changed the dinosaur a little bit it made him skinnier <laughs> this one i don't know why it's doing multiple scenes <laughs> what the heck it's a bit trippy but i don't know so when it comes to like abstract textures Simple things, it's pretty good. Like it'll add some movement. But when it comes to like people, animals, it starts getting a bit trippy. <laughs> it doesn't work too well. So this is a recent mock-up I did for a client. Let's see if it adds a bit of motion, a bit of movement to it. That's what I, yeah, I really want from that. I want it just really subtle, nothing too crazy. Let's hopefully it works because it was running into some errors. Wow, okay, so it generated a separate mock-up on an iPad or something. And I don't know what that, what that is in the background. That's weird. What about this? What the, that's kind of interesting. It generated like a, a scroll, but it's not what I wanted. What if I just say slow zoom in on sign? So for this one, I'm gonna say slow zoom. You can also use pre presets as well. So you can do stop motion, film noir, car bottom, paper craft. I'm gonna do this. So they do have some presets here. If I go to preset and type in Click on Balloon World. Let's see what that does. Okay. So this added a bit of movement side to side. If I, you can use your arrow keys as well to move, which is cool. This one adds a bit of a zoom in. Okay, that's cool. That, I like that. And you can see the wall starts to change, like the reflection at the back. It looks realistic. That's pretty cool. So from a static image to a moving mock-up, why not add that extra layer of detail for your clients when you're presenting a logo or an identity? I think that would work really cool. Um, for this one, we'll click Balloon World and see what it does. Um, so yeah, it's just showing you the capabilities. I'd probably play around with it if you can yourself, but I think, yeah, playing with textures, it's probably your best play. Um, we're gonna do this. You can also change it to grid as well. And we can change the square. Make it a bit better. Um, we can filter by prompts, by loops. So that's good. Now, like how you can put your mouse over it, it'll just play the video. That's pretty lit. It's pretty crazy because OpenAI said like three or four people built this within like two months. Insane. Uh, let's see the, check this one thing. All right, Balloon World. That's mad. Out of the reflection. So it made this robot guy move. He's moving his hands. What the? That's cool. So I don't know if it added the preset, but overall, I think that is pretty cool. So yeah, let me know. Try it out. If you do have the ChatGBT Plus or the Pro version, let me know if you think this is useless, if you think it's cool. I personally think that it will get better over time. Right now, it's not the best. 
but it's kind of cool to play around at it, get it some movement, see what it can do and just test it out, give it a go. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is cool. And if you can like the video, I really appreciate it. If you want to see some more AI stuff, I've got some other videos here. Check it out.